Guys, I've gone to pull some cards. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Let's light a little Palo Santos on this shit, huh? Ooh, I hope today you had a wonderful day. Yeah. If it was a little rough, Daddy John sent you some love and light. Healing light. Healing light. Spark the flames. Sending you some Palo Santos. Yeah. There you go. Throw a little Palo Santos on this bitch. Oh. Ooh. Your spirit. Cleanse these cards. Cleanse these cards. That's what the powers of E watch over me during this reading. What do we need to know? Who do we need to protect ourselves from? What do we need to protect ourselves from? What's any negative mojo that might be coming our way, huh? Spirit guides. Call upon my ancestors, the power of my ancestry. We have my collective. What do we need to be? What do we need to be concerned about? What do we need to be concerned about? What are any issues or dangers or hazards heading our way, huh? What's any dangers or hazards heading our way? Or what do we need protection from? Or what do we need protection from? This is a general tarot reading. Takes what resonates, leave the rest. Not every reading is going to be for you. What does my collective need to, need to be worried or concerned about? Wake this deck up, please, Spirit. Thank you. Mm. Interesting. Lies. Temperance. And the Three of Pentacles. You're rebuilding yourself. You're, you're creating something. You're doing something um, for you. It's along the creative lines. It is along the creative lines. And creativity is, is, you know, that's in any any job. It doesn't necessarily have to be painting or writing or, or music or anything like that. It's uh, building a foundation. You're working on building a foundation, working on something. Working in a group. This depicts her at an art studio. You're, you're going to be working with others, right? You could be working with others at... at at finding their balance. Maybe you're going to be in the holistic medicine field or your know, chakra cleansing, uh, Reiki, uh, something along that lines. Ace of Swords in reverse. I think you need to be maybe a little cautious of some lies. Or if, if you don't want to say lies, maybe just some untruths or things you're not quite sure about. There's some things that uh, you don't know. I, really, you, I think you might be working in the holistic arts or doing something creative like that. And you know, my lighter drop. So that's... Mm. There's some shit around you you just don't know about yet. Take that out. That resonates. We'll see what comes up. But you're going to be working on healing yourself. Create, maybe healing yourself through the creative process or helping others heal themselves. Kind of be helping others heal themselves through the creative process. Something you do creatively. Maybe a creative writing class, um, an art class. Could be holistic medicine, any of the uh, esoteric arts, anything along that line. You're going to be helping people, though. But the Ace, Ace of Swords in reverse. 
lack of communication, lack of clarity, lies. There's something you're not seeing. There's something you don't know. But it might be tied in actually with, with uh, what you're doing. So that I'm going to say that's a positive. I'm not, it's, it's puzzling, but it's like, maybe you're not, maybe you're not aware of it yet. You're not, you're not quite sure how it's going to happen. I don't see that as being a negative, but I, really getting there's just something you're not seeing. There's something you're not seeing, something that you're, you're not being communicated about. But I don't think it's necessarily bad. <sighs> Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Five of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, in the middle of the spread. That's good. Ace of Pentacles and then the Eight of Pentacles. The Tower. Six of Wands. And the Seven of Wands. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, past, present, future. Let's go ahead and throw some others on this shit. Let's just see what we got. Uh, we put the hang one in reverse, the chariot in the upright, two of pentacles in the reverse, and the five of pentacles in the reverse. And this is crowned by the page of wands in the reverse. So someone didn't come in with an offer because they're 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 stuck. They're stuck. They're like they're like restricted. They can't. And they can't make a decision. But they want to come forward because they want to come out of the cold, okay? But someone's waiting on something. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse here, but th there's no movement. This person hasn't done the first fucking thing, okay? We got the Four of Cups in reverse. There's a lot of past regrets. A lot of past regrets. Offers made, woulda, shoulda, coulda, all that good shit. But you're dealing with a very deceptive energy here. A very dominant, you know, my way or the highway type energy. These are just people that they don't give a fuck whether they're right or wrong. They're, they're going to try to win out at, at all costs, right? Very low vibing pieces of shit. But you got the Ace of Pentacles. So you got something beautiful and tangible headed your way. And it's going to be a gift from the universe, right? And you're working on something. There's going to be a tower come, Okay. But this tower, this tower, whatever comes that just shakes something to its foundation is going to be to your victory. And in the end, you're going to be defending yourself, okay? What, what, what is that? What are they going to be defending? Blocking somebody. Blocking communication. Communication from a king of wands that didn't want to put forth any effort. Ooh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, you're blocking somebody. But you you you're gonna that's just gonna just take care of itself. It's gonna it's gonna crumble on its own. You're not gonna do anything. You're over here working on yourself. You're getting a you're gonna be getting a gift. Right? It's like you don't need somebody to come in and make you an offer. You're making your own fucking offers. You know what I mean? And the divine is going to bless you with something that's going to be beautiful and abundant for you. Now, you're going to know when you get this because it's going to be a it's going to be a what the fuck kind of moment. You know what I mean? In a good way. Maybe maybe this gift is going to spark you to do something, because even in this, the working, it's like and, and kind of the creative energy. Maybe you're going to get a boost so you can spend more time doing what you love to do creatively. Which I really think is something in the holistic art. You're going to be working with people to heal. It's it's you're going to be it's about calming, healing, uh, soothing, uh, giving people guidance. It could even be you know in the church related, maybe a youth pastor or working with youths in a church type setting. There's going to be a tower that's going to come in. The tower is going to come with these sneaky individuals or this sneaky individual. Uh, yeah, that's why I think that's who the tower is going to come. And you're going to be defending yourself because you blocked somebody that you knew you couldn't trust. 
this uh, Page of Swords and this uh, King of Wands energy in reverse. You block so you block the motherfucker you knew you couldn't trust. Cause up here we got the Page of Wands in reverse, right? Yeah, uh, immature energy right here, unable to start something. And with the King of Wands here, this King of Wands can't do shit because they can't communicate. They 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 they're, they're, you're blocked. You blocked the you blocked the motherfucker. But you're waiting on something, and you're feeling a little stuck because I don't think you quite know what, what you want to do or how you're going to do it, okay? So you've been a little, maybe you've just kind of been at a standstill, and you're trying to decide, and you're like, well, I don't know which way to go, and maybe that's what the choice is going to be, right? You have options, and maybe this is going to be an emotional choice for you because you know, maybe you have a couple things you love, there, or maybe you're getting a job offer, and, you know, one is more money, but the other one is really what you'd love to do. So maybe that's even going to be like a financial decision you're going to have to make, right? One job is financially great, but the other job is would be better for your creativity, for your, for your happiness. You would love doing it, right? You'd go to work every day and it wouldn't feel like work. But you're dealing with some people that you just, they're just, narcissistic assholes okay that's all i think of with the five of swords because i don't think i don't see you being in this energy but you definitely got people like that around you and some of them may be trying to come at you okay with the chariot here movement but you're going to get blessed with something a very tangible gift from the universe and you're going to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. I think you're getting this gift because you have been at a loss. It's like Spirit saying you, you've been at a loss. And then because you're still working on something. This could very well be a job offer. I'm thinking, you know, you're going to get enough to come in. To cover your costs so you can get back to doing what you love instead of having to struggle with money because maybe you've been dealing with some financial issues because you're going to go back to working and she's sitting at this desk by herself working but it's going to be a tower moment something something's going to happen but you know tower moments are good because that's when divine comes in and just levels anything that isn't true or sturdy or worth your time or effort okay yeah it may hurt like hell i ain't gonna lie about that it, it may hurt like hell but at the end of the day oh shit does my hair look like shit y'all oh but at the end of the day these towers are great because they they just they they just get rid of what you don't need to fucking worry about and that's going to bring you victory but you're going to have a lot of people hating on what you're doing. There's going to be a lot of people not liking it. You're going to make a lot of people very unhappy. But you know what? You're not going to give a fuck because you're you're in your power, right? You got what you wanted. You got your victory in the end. But you're dealing with Page of Wands here and a King of Wands here. And this uh, Page of Swords in reverse. I'm kind of getting this is just some, uh, just some kind of fuckery. You know, you're dealing with someone that one minute they're grown up, the next minute they act like a little kid. You know, back to this kind of narcissist shit. But you blocked the motherfucker, so I don't think you're gonna have to worry about shit. Very, very good, interesting energy. If you're dealing with other people, you know you can't trust them. Leave them in the dust. Just leave them in the dust. I'm still drawn to that Ace of Swords, those guys. I, I, I can't help it. That Ace of Swords in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Swords in reverse. What is this? What is this communication? Or what is this they don't know? Or can we get any information on it? What is, what is about this Ace of Swords in reverse? What is this Ace of Swords energy in reverse? It might be the stu uh, something that's keeping you stuck or something. Maybe from going towards what you want to do. <laughs> Ten of Swords in the upright. 
Okay, it's an that's about an ending. Sword energy, getting out of your head. Is that really it, spirit? Are you gonna give us anything, or are you just gonna say, nope, that's a surprise? <laughs> the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, they don't want us to know, guys. <laughs> and the hermit mode. Oh, I love it. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> yeah, they don't want us to know what it is. This is basically you're putting an end to something. Okay, and, or an ending is coming. Either way, all these knives in your back are going to be, they're going to be released. Um, in some way, shape, or form. You got the hermit here and the high priestess. You're maybe not fully trusting your intuition. You're still healing and you're still trying to figure out what the fuck you want to do. I think you're looking up ideas online or looking up how you're going to go about and doing it. And you know, in, in today's marketplace, if you got a marketable skill, sometimes you have to figure out how you're going to market it, right? Maybe you, you have interest in two or three areas and you like to figure out a way to kind of meld them all together to make money. And there ain't a damn thing wrong with that. But you got you to gotta trust your intuition. I don't like the high priestess in reverse because that's someone that isn't trusting their intuition. You're not dreaming big enough. That could also be it too. You're not dreaming big enough. Spirits like dream a little bigger, make it a little bigger, make it a little bigger, dream a little bigger, dream a little bigger. You know what I got with this ten of swords? Life as you know it is going to end. Life is going, the life you know is, is, is getting ready to come to an end and new beginnings. Tens of new beginnings. You've ended an old cycle, you're going to start a new cycle. And this is what they don't want you to know. This is, I think this is kind of like the outcome card. There's just, you know, some shit they don't want you to know. Yeah, even when it comes to tarot, you're not supposed to know everything. Some things are supposed to be a surprise. That's just how it goes. I think it's a beautiful energy, okay? But I would uh, uh, do be leery of maybe a conflict at a party or a social gathering. Because we got a, a real bitch here. I think wants to stir up some shit. So be leery at a, at a party or some gathering where you may be with people. Uh, friends or something. Just be leery. Someone wants to stir up the shit pot. They want to stir up the And this could be, you know, not trusting your friends. You could have a, an enemy amongst your friends, a frenemy. And they're going to start some shit. Although they may party with you and be all nicey-nicey to your face, they're going to stir the shit pot. But you're too strong for that. You're going to move away from that energy, so you probably know who this bitch is. Because you're, you're so much stronger than they are. Right? And this ain't about physical strength. This is, you know, holistic, energy-wise. You know, you're not dealing with no low vibing bitches. You're going to work. There we go. They come up again together, guys. You're going to be working on whatever you're going to do that's going to be of assistance to people. It's going to be healing. You're like blessed. I'm getting that. You're like blessed with them angel wings. You're like an earth angel, light worker, healer, something along that lines. And you're going to figure out how to use that. Maybe teach the skill. You're going to do something with it. You're going to do something with it. That's kind of collective I like. Beautiful, high-vibing individuals. Good soul tribe. Empaths and light workers unite, right? Using your gifts for the masses. But also figuring out how you can make make some money out of it. Beautiful energy. Peace, love, and light.